Hey friends, I know I've been promising y'all for a long time that uh, I was eventually gonna get through with the living room and being able to and be able to take y'all on a tour of the living room. The living room's nothing like it was at River Bend. It's a fairly small living room, but I love it. I adore being back in a smaller house. And this was the house that Michael and I built 17 years ago when we married, and we called it our forever home. Well, little did we know that life was gonna get so hectic uh, after I got a TV show, you know, life quickly changed. And uh, it seemed like all we were doing in this house was shooting for TV shows. So, you know, the rest is kind of history about us going down and buying a lot down the road. And, uh, but we sold it back in October and cause Michael and I both realized it was time to downsize. And that was why we never, never intended to ever sell this house because we felt like that might happen one day as we got older. <laughs> and uh, so we're so happy to be back here in our forever home. So the, the living room is done. So I want to invite y'all in and I'll give you a quick little tour. So come on in y'all. Look, Pumpkin's even brave in going outside. Come on, Lou. Didn't Eddie do a great on, job? Oh, and look at these, y'all. Uh, you remember when I did that, um, that shoot at Ann's uh, garden shop? Well, I bought these the last time I was home. I did a book signing at her shop. She's got just some of the most unique things. And uh, these are the planters I bought from her. I thought they were beautiful, just simple white. And then these, the last trip I bought from her. Yeah, that was a great find. That was a great find. They're beautiful. Uh, I was hoping that I was gonna be able to hang them out in the trees, in the oak trees, over the water. <laughs> but after I bought them, I found out they can't be out in the open. They have to be under cover. So, Lulu, come on in. Come on, come on in. Let's show everybody our house. So, I want to start by uh, doing this. I want to show y'all these beautiful, beautiful old antique doors. You know, I can't even tell y'all where I bought them from. I know I bought them here in Savannah from uh, an antique shop or something that carried a lot of uh, architectural stuff. And I saw these uh, doors and I just fell in love with them. And these were in our bedroom when we first built the house. And um, a half bath is right here. And it's holding uh, one of my son's favorite pictures of theirs. Um, they asked me to hold on to it for them. Uh, it means an awful lot to Jamie and Bobby. So I'm keeping it safe in the potty room. <laughs> so come on in, y'all. I think the living room turned out real good. Eddie and I, along with Carolyn Haltman, uh, from Car Carolyn Haltman's Interiors, we have worked on this house to get it completely done so uh, we can just sit back and take a deep breath and enjoy the fact that we're in this, back in this little house. And it is little compared to where we came from. Uh, so, oh my gosh, where do I start? Um, these drapes that I have in here were in the dining room 17 years ago. <laughs> These were made for the, the dining room. Uh, 
and Eddie found them, wadded up somewhere, and he took them to the dry cleaners. They were in my apartment. They I were in your them. apartment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So Eddie took them to the dry cleaners and had them cleaned. And uh, did they, we have to cut cut them in two? The, these were perfect. Yeah, okay. we didn't have to do anything. And so <laughs> we said, oh, my gosh, that's wonderful, because I always love that fabric. And it's the same color as our sofa that's in the dining room end of the uh, kitchen. So it worked out perfect and saved us so much money. So much money. Because custom drapes will set you back, y'all. Uh, I could kick myself for not learning to sew. Uh, and of course, all the furniture is Paula Dean furniture by Craft Masters. And it's, it's such wonderful, wonderful furniture. It's just, um, it's heavy and it's just good stuff. And um, I opted to put swivel rockers in all the chairs and I love that. I just love having a chair that moves with me. And y'all can see we got the house all decorated for Christmas. Oh, uh, years ago, my Aunt Peggy collected these buyers Christmas dolls. And I fell in love with them. And I can't remember who gave me my very first one. But uh, over the years, I've got quite a collection. You can see them all over the house. I, I was so excited to do this cabinet right here and uh, display the Christmas dolls, the buyer's dolls. And they've got so many accessories now that go with them that are so, so neat. Yeah, the snowmen, I think, are kind of a new Yes, addition. the snowmen, yes. Well, we didn't find those until, what, two Christmases ago, Eddie? We found them at Home Goods, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> and we didn't even know that buyers made a snowman. So I think we bought every one they had. And this is one of the accessories, the little gates, and of course the light post. And she is probably my oldest one that I have. Do you remember the date on her? I, I don't, I think it, actually, I think it's from the, I think it's just from the early 1990s maybe. Oh really? Yeah, I don't think it's, um, well, I may have some, I don't know, but uh, the thing about buyers is they they put the date on the bottom of every one of their dolls. And they do themes. Yes, different themes. Now, over here this is, is poor little precious um, Tom, Tom, uh, Tom. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim <laughs> and his mama and his daddy. And here is that old Mr. Scrooge that uh, made life so miserable for him. <laughs> and he's he's here looking over him, and uh, kind of scary looking. <laughs> but uh, I do love him. And look at this little fixture back here. It's a fireplace. I don't know if you can see that, but. Mm -hmm. They just have some of the neatest accessories. Never in my wildest dream did I ever think I would start back collecting dolls, y'all. <laughs> and this is some of the snowmen. And they're so cute. And uh, you can see they have the date on them. And of course, this is very, very special to me. It's um, a thank you. Uh, note from Miss uh, Rosalind Carter and I thought it was so sweet I had to frame that and now this is one of my favorite ornaments right here I adore old ornaments well one Christmas my Christmas tree fell over and it had all my vintage ornaments on it and I, I just wanted to cry well Eddie went online 
and he found these are the, the hand blown Italian yes, Christmas ornaments. Yes. And I couldn't believe when I opened my gift and Eddie had had found the ornaments, the very ornaments that I had uh lost in that fall. And the triplets were over the other day and Linton comes in and goes straight to the tree and he says, oh, Batman, Batman, Batman is Linton's hero. He thought it was Batman since he had the mask on. So he took this ornament and just pulled it straight down. So the hook and everything is somewhere on the tree. And, uh, oh, I sucked in my breath. I thought, oh, am I gonna lose that one for the second time? <laughs> now, this ottoman we found from uh, Seventh Heaven. And this one came from Tapley's and I think that it's just one of the most beautiful tables I've ever seen. That's a it's a eighteenth century French fruit. Yes, wood. yes, from the seventeen hundreds, y'all. So it's it was just a beautifully uh, made piece of furniture. And of course the rugs, we finally got our rugs in. That was another thing I was waiting on before I took y'all on a tour. Uh, all the rugs came from uh, over there on President the, Street. The rug shop. The rug shop on President Street. You know, we do try to spend our money in the town that we live in. And we try to be supportive of the other business people here in town. This one, this is a, a tilt top table. And it actually tilts up and you can just stand it in a corner or against a wall. This one came from uh, Seventh Heaven. But there's some new places that uh, I want you to take me to, Eddie, that I've never been to here in town. Cause you know, I didn't, I didn't get out and play a lot cause I was working, uh, but Somebody mentioned a place today or yesterday that we need to go to. I have to check. Yeah. I can't. Re I can't remember the name. Um, I told you. You know, maybe tomorrow we'll go to this place called Ella's. Ella's, yes. In Richmond Hill. Yes, yes. That's a new store, though, isn't it? Um, it's care. been. It's been there for a while. No, I mean it's just new things. It's not. Um, is it old things too? I, th I think they have a little bit of everything. Cause you know how I feel about old things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think old things are still pretty good. <laughs> All right, so I'll give you a quick run through of the kitchen. Uh, this is the only room that I had toured y'all on. Um, so uh, it was pretty much this way, I think, when we did the tour, right, Eddie? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, I think we've um, added, you know, changed things around a little bit. A little but. bit, yeah. And I know we added our rugs because that's what we were kind of waiting on. And um, I'm that, sure I told y'all, this is Michelle and Anthony's great-grandmother's old sofa, and I'm just thrilled to have it here in the house. I'm so happy to have something that they, they remember from their childhood. So, and then we show them the light fixture. We've kind oh, of yes. reworked it a little bit. Yes, that's another thing that uh, I've been waiting to show y'all. Uh, all of our light fixtures were made by uh, Becky at the light post in Bluffton, Georgia. Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. <laughs> what did I say? Georgia. Georgia. Bluffton, Georgia. <laughs> Well, it might as well be Georgia, it's so close, right? <laughs> Just over the bridge. But um, when they first delivered this, it just didn't, it didn't appear to be quite like I wanted. So they came back and picked it up and uh, took my advice and made it more three-dimensional. And I think it's just, beautiful and it's so funny all all the fixtures are new except for the one in that dish pantry and the one over the sink 
that one's 17 years old. And I, I couldn't believe what I picked out for this house. You know, has the marsh grass. And look what that one over the sink is. It's marsh grass and stars. So. Perfect blend. Yeah, a perfect blend that I didn't realize was happening. Now our pantries, um, they're still a work in progress. Um, along with the rest of the house. So as we get each room ready, we will uh, take y'all on a quick little tour. Uh, and of course, I couldn't part with um, this old piece right here. It's, it's from the 1400s, I was told. I bought this from a man up at Scott's Antique Market years and years and years ago. Uh, but um, all these are interchangeable. You can take them off depending on how much height you use. There's not a nail in it, not one nail anywhere. And uh, I just think it's beautiful. And from what I understand, it was where uh, back in the 1400s, people would put their bread to rise or their cheese to ripen. So it's it's very handy and it makes it so easy for me to just come out here. I don't have to bend over and look in cabinets. Uh, and I just found these beautiful things from another one of my favorite shops here in town. And that's Clutter. My friend Lynn has some of the neatest things. She, uh, she has a store full of things that people are ready to get rid of and get something new or they're moving or regardless, you know, they want to get rid of it. Well, I found these two the other day and I could not believe it. I mean, they look just like this. We didn't have to paint them, do anything. All we had to do was hang them and we were able to use one of the shelves from our rack our dish rack uh, to displace some of our um, doodads. Our chickens. <laughs> some of our chickens. I just love those chickens. So that's about it. I'd love to show y'all the porch. So let me take a little break and then I'll come back and show you the back porch. How's that? So, oh. so <laughs> while we're in here, yeah. a, a lot of people comment um, about your kitchen and they want to know where all your copper yeah, because I had a lot of copper. You had a lot of copper. Well, guess yeah. what, y'all? I still got a lot of copper. Look what Eddie and Lil Mike has done. They have hung my copper from what I had on uh, a pot rack at River Bend. They hung this on that strong brick wall and it won't come down. So this, when this is clean, y'all, it's so beautiful and it'll shine like a new penny. But Eddie and I have had a few other things to do besides shining copper. So we just walk by and say, we promise one day we're gonna get to you. <laughs> and uh, over here in this side is my cast iron. Uh, cast iron is so heavy, so heavy. And if you have to lean over and get it out of a cabinet, if you can stand back up straight after you reach a certain age, you're doing good. So this is so handy. Uh, I can just come over here and get whichever one I want. So these two guys that are here with me, they're just geniuses. They're so good. Uh, so, okay, I'll give you a quick look on the porch. It is still a work in progress. And, um, oh, something smells so good. That candle right there. Oh, it smells yummy over here. So, if y'all will remember this house, this room ended right here. And from here back, that was part of the porch. 
So we had them take that wall, push it all the way back. And uh, so we have a lot smaller porch now than we used to, but it's a gracious plenty. It's a gracious plenty. So uh, I don't have a whole bunch of flowers out here because kind of not that time of year, but um, these beautiful lighted trees I got from Ann's Garden Shop. And these I found at Ann's Garden Shop. And you know what? Eddie and I have talked about them and talked about them and talked about them. And you know what? I think that we have finally figured out the use of these. You know, back a long time ago, when someone passed away, they uh, kept them at home either in the bed or in a, a coffin in the living room. And Eddie and I believe that these held flower arrangements to sit on either side of the coffin is our guess. If y'all know better, let us know. But that's our thoughts on it. And of course, the little wicker furniture, I've had it for years and years and years. And um, I got to get an extension cord for a little Christmas tree, Eddie. <laughs> and these are Paula Dean furniture. And they are just handy, handy, handy. But we no longer, we no longer have all of, all of the Paula Dean furniture is now cloth. It's soft. Um, so that's it. I found this. It clutter. And where did I find this one, Eddie? Uh, clutter as well. I mean, um, uh, Tapley's. Tapley's, yes. So, and this is the same swing that we hung up here 17 years ago. And I got me a staghorn fern that I want to see if I can get it growing on a tree. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the little tour. And I thank y'all for y'all's interest and the love and the support that y'all have shown to me throughout this year and all the years before. And I certainly return that love to y'all. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we just pray that 2022 will be a, a better year for our whole nation. I'll see y'all on the next room tour. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.